Hello from St. Louis, Missouri, home of the uh, Cardinals. This is uh, used to be when I was a kid, it was Bush Stadium. I assume it still is. Uh, still got that Budweiser up there. Look at this, this is kind of cool. Uh, reminds me of uh, Camden Yards, uh, which is a big part of my, my child's childhood. Uh, my son and daughter grew up in and around Camden Yards, Oriole Park in Baltimore. But uh, this is my roots. I uh, was not born here, but uh, St. Louis is a big part of my childhood. Both my parents are from St. Louis. Um, we spent some time in Louisiana, ended up in Baltimore. Those three towns are in the top five list of murder capitals of the world. So watch your step when you're around me. But uh, here's the inside of the same. This, this place is just awesome. I, I mean, again, I don't, none of this was here when I was a kid, but uh, I'm here for a baby shower because the way life kind of goes around and comes around has uh, my nephew, uh, JD, lives in St. Louis and they are having a baby and a lot of the family is coming together for a shower and um, we're turning this shower into a uh, bit of a reunion instead of just a gift giving. Man, this place is just incredible. So uh, look at the history here. There's signs, I can't read it this way. Uh, National League champions, 1920. Anyway, there's a great 1928, 30, 43, 68 world champions. Holy crap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven times. I had no idea. Um, but anyway, both my parents were from St. Louis. Now, as a child growing up, we lived in 13 different places. I moved 13 times before I was 13 years old. And actually the last time we moved, I was 11, but I like the symmetry of 13 and 13. So on the way back here, I am, uh, I am compelled to, uh, you know the song, The House That Built Me, that Miranda Lambert sang? And uh, apparently that song was offered to Blake Shelton but it resonated so much with Miranda Lambert that he let her sing it. And it was later done by uh, um, several other people. Ta uh, I don't even know, Tanya Tucker, I think, redid it. Um, but it reminds me of my childhood. You've heard me say before that comparison is the thief of joy. Joy. <laughs> comparison is the thief of joy. But perspective is the... Uh, gift of awareness and you've also heard me talk about how humor is a healthy understanding of moments others recognize we're forged by our past we're forged by our nature but do we really know things about how things came about so whenever we think of st louis i think of uh i had a lot of uncles i had seven uncles and they lived about 20 minutes away that was my dad's side of the family they lived about 20 minutes away from where my mom's side of the family lived and when we would go over there we'd be in the backyard they had a dog named jake that i was scared to death of he was always um i'll think of what kind of dog it was in a minute um but he was always barking and half biting not a mean bite kind of a lot like my dog chance now in temperament but he would always be excited and these uncles We'd go in the backyard and they'd get like a blanket or a sheet and they'd throw us young kids in it and go around it and throw us up in the air and catch us and it was always great times. Now when I went to my mom's side of the family, very different. She lived downtown in St. Louis instead of out in the surrounding community and she had a tiny little house. So small in fact that there was no place for me to stay or sleep. So guess where I got to sleep when we visited her? I slept on a cot. This is a God's honest truth. I slept on a cot under the dining room table 
because she didn't want to disrupt the lay of the land too much. And uh, I couldn't sleep on the couch. In retrospect, I'm grateful because she still had plastic on it. You know what I'm talking about. But one of my biggest memories of St. Louis was the food because food is a very regional thing. And we would get Dr. Pepper here. Uh, didn't have it where we lived in Baltimore at the time. Um, Emo's Pizza and White Castles. Those were the things I remember most about visiting my grandmother. So what did you think I want when I got here? Emo's Pizza, White Castles, and you know, you can get Dr. Pepper anywhere. But So those are on the agenda. So you talk about the house that built me. Well, a house doesn't build you as much as the experiences around you. And um, I just remember Emo's Pizza all my life. For, so this is like a 50 year memory, a 50 year like romance with Emo's Pizza. And I can't even, I don't even know when the last time I had it. It was probably at least 35 years ago since I last had it. I think the last time I was here, I was maybe 15. So um, turns out Emo's Pizza was unique. It was kind of the start of a St. Louis style pizza. I did not know that I knew there was New York and Chicago. Chicago's the thick crust, New York is the thin crust. But here's what's unique about Emo's Pizza. It's called St. Louis style. It's a really thin crust, almost like a cracker because they don't use yeast. But the other thing that's unique about it is this thing called Provel cheese, which is a combination of cheddar, Swiss, and provolone cheese. It was invented in St. Louis in 1947. And mind you, I was born in 62 and Emo's Pizza opened in 1964. So what I was experiencing then as a kid is this memorable thing. You know, I guess it was maybe 70, 71. I was probably eight or nine years old when I first had it. What I was remembering as this unique, amazing experience really was. It was the start of Emo's Pizza and they cut it square. And uh, the idea behind that is um, if you cut it square, the pizza will hold up. So you put more toppings on it. So uh, it was revolutionary. They, Ed Emo. Oh, the other thing, why did they cut it square? Well, they've learned that they could put more stuff on it. But he was, he was a tile layer, laid tile. So the joke is that that's why he cut it square because he handled tile all day. But what it really was, was they were innovators. They were Catholic and they gave up meat on Fridays. So Friday night at 1130 every night, they would order pizza and go down at midnight to pick it up. And they wanted to start a pizza place with all the things they liked on it that would deliver. So they were innovators. I remember it as being different. And that's part of the house that built me. And the only point of this is I didn't know any of this until now. I'm in my 60s and I just now learned something unique about my youth. I just gained a healthy understanding of moments others recognize because I'm here at a shower. Have fun out there.